breaking news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Special report, top Democrat indicted for massive corruption, media hiding it. The Democrats are so unbelievably corrupt that it is only a matter of time until the rug is pulled out from under their feet and they are destroyed once and for all. According to, Christian's alerts. Jury selection begins today in one of the most serious corruption cases a sitting U.S. senator has ever faced. But the mainstream media wants to ignore it. Senator Bob Menendez, DNY, the top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, has been indicted on corruption charges, reports the Washington Examiner. His trial is scheduled to begin next month, yet not one cable news network has aired a minute of coverage on the story. Menendez faces 14 counts of corruption and bribery, to which he has pled not guilty. But Conservative Review points out that though local newspapers have mentioned the story, mainstream media has been silent. The Department of Justice indicted Senator Menendez and New Jersey ophthalmologist Salomon Melgen in April 2015. Menendez is accused of using the power of his public office to benefit Dr. Melgen both personally and financially. According to the criminal complaint, both Menendez and Melgen have been charged with one count of conspiracy, one count of violating the Travel Act, eight counts of bribery and three counts of honest services fraud. Menendez was also charged with one count of making false statements. Allegedly, the senator used his power to further the eye doctor's business interests in the Senate, after having received gifts from the doctor. Both the senator and the doctor argue that the gifts, including trips to Paris, were entirely innocent. They say that there was no official bribery agreement between them. In April 2015, when the charges were initially leveled, Menendez said, I'm angry because prosecutors at the Justice Department don't know the difference between friendship and corruption. However, prosecutors are having a hard time accepting Menendez's version of innocence especially since Dr. Melgen has received more funding from Medicare reimbursements than any other doctor in the nation. While cable news has been completely silent about the case, online outlets have at least mentioned the groundbreaking corruption case. However, many mainstream publications have remained sympathetic to Menendez, relying on headlines supportive of the senator. For example, the Associated Press article, published by MSN, relied on the following headline for their article, U.S. Senator Menendez, I've behaved appropriately in office. Essentially, the Associated Press, who makes or breaks the news, allowed the criminal defense to frame the narrative around his own indictment. Instead of merely sticking to the facts of the case, or relying on a neutral headline, the Associated Press allowed the Democrat lawmaker to have the first and final word in the article, presenting the criminal trial as a sort of witch hunt. All of the facts in an indictment against Senator Bob Menendez, DNY, point to a corrupt politician, yet the media is both ignoring and nudging the narrative to his innocence. Is the mainstream media angling to get this corrupt senator off the hook? Similarly, a CNN Politics article from when the corruption charges first arose ran with a headline reading, Senator Bob Menendez, I am not going anywhere. Again, a left-leaning publication allowed the defense in a criminal case to frame the narrative. The idea that CNN would be so kind if a Republican was charged with conspiracy is laughable. Headlines like these are why so many Americans distrust the media. Instead of merely parsing the facts in an unbiased manner, many mainstream stories are obviously on the side of the Democrats. It is about time we have a leader follow through with his words and if Trump continues on the course he is going, Democrats will never be in power again. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.